All right, so it looks like my FT3DR just now came in today, and I am super excited about unboxing this. Usually I'm too excited to do videos for the unboxing, and I just want to get my hands on it. But uh, today is a little different. I had a little patience, so here's the box. And uh, let's go ahead and crack this baby open. All right, and as you all have seen from my channel, my wonderful dog is always there to help me unbox things. She loves it when I get in the floor. She, she loves it when I'm just busy doing something. She just can't help herself but get into it. But she is a wonderful dog. All right, so it's like a bunch of packing peanuts to keep it safe. And there we are, the FT3D. So there it is. Oh, and looks like uh, we got another, another little pest here. So I'm gonna set this cardboard box over here so he can play with it and jump in it, everything he likes to do. So, there you go, fur babies. All right, so it's the C4FM 144, three megahertz, dual band digital transceiver. And the box is pretty simple, it's pretty compact, so let's go ahead and get it open. And right off the bat, it looks like we have the, the manual. So it's one of the bigger manuals, nice and large, uh, easy to reprint. It looks like it's very detailed too, uh, plenty of stuff in here, uh, plenty of instructions. Alright, so let's get to the good stuff. It looks like, of course, we have the radio in all its beauty. It's a little smaller than the FT2D. Uh, I've been looking at, at quite a bit of reviews on this thing. So I'm super excited about this. There's the radio itself. Uh, it's got a pretty slim profile. We've got the knobs here. And we also have, uh, of course, the back there for the battery. Let's see what else we got in the case. So we have what looks to be a, a data cable. So we'll go ahead and crack this thing open here. Stop eating the peanuts! Stop eating the peanuts. I'm sorry! This is what I, it's like children. It's like, it's like they're, in the miles, they're not poisonous. They're, I don't, are they poisonous? What? <laughs> my fiance is behind me ripping peanuts out of my dog's mouth. I got it. Packaging peanuts. So, that's perfect. I think next time I might lock them out of the room. I'm so sorry. Anyways, so I have the pretty much power adapter. I don't really need to undo that. Next, we have the uh, the stock antenna, the rubber ducky. Probably better than the one I got with the Balfang. Uh, still not top of the line or anything, but it'll do until I replace it. I do have the Nagoya antenna on my Balfang now, so I'll probably pull that off the Balfang since it's not gonna get as much use anymore, and uh, we'll just slap it on the FT3D. So there's the antenna. Not much to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, of course, we have the uh, the charger. So it doesn't look like it came with a base. It looks like it's just uh, probably a plug-in charger. So we'll disconnect that uh, probably to the radio itself. I think I saw on other reviews that it it connects there on the side. So pretty simple. Um, and it looks like we have some type of European plug charger adapter uh, that could probably be, be used uh, if you're of course out the USA which I am in the USA but you probably uh, slap that on there somehow and uh, be able to use that and of course we have the uh, the clip with the screws in there so we'll definitely need to put that thing on there not much to it got some screws got the clip that'll go back on 
uh, the back of the battery there, I would assume, or the back of the radio with the battery attached. And of course, we have the battery itself. So the battery uh, is the same battery that's in the FT2D. Uh, pretty slim. Uh, one reason I got this radio was because of the... You guys can't see it now, but there's a cat right in the back of the camera. So, basically, uh, it slaps right in there. The battery life on this thing is uh, phenomenal. That's one of the big reasons I got it. Uh, I would assume it just clicks in there just like that. So, easy battery install. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the antenna on here. And I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that this thing's got a charge on it. So there's the power button, I assume. It looks like it does have battery, and it's already telling me that I need to enter my call sign. So enter your call sign, max 10 letters. I'll go ahead and try to see. So here's the call sign entering screen. It looks like uh, that's pretty simple to use. I assume I can use the uh, the touch screen or I can use the knob here to select it. Um, so I'll go ahead and just type in my uh, my call sign and I'll try to use the um, the touchpad. I'm not sure if I can do yeah I can do capital letters. All right, so uh, <clears throat> I've got my call sign in here. Now I've just got to figure out how to enter that in. So there's not actually an enter button. But from experience, my Yesu uses a display button, so we'll try that. Maybe the push to talk. So the push to talk took me straight to the uh, the screen here it looks like my battery is almost dead but as you can see the radio is lit up and it looks like this thing is ready to rock and roll so the band button obviously will cycle between the different bands uh, this thing does have quite a bit of coverage in bands uh, almost everything up to 900 megahertz is you can receive on uh, it doesn't do single sideband but still super cool that you can tune into different shortwave frequencies and that type of thing. Um, I'll try, I've, I haven't programmed this thing yet, I haven't used it, but I'll try to enter just a, a random frequency to see if uh, we can receive something. So I'll try to do the NOAA weather frequency. So this right here is our volume knob. Saturday and Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers. So one thing uh, I read reviews on is the, uh, I think it's a 700 milliwatt speaker, it wasn't very loud. Um, I think this is plenty loud for me. It gets pretty loud. So let me go and turn it down. I do like the fact that uh, I can use this uh, volume knob and change the frequency up here and cycle through. So that's a super cool feature to have on a handheld radio. The ability to just cycle through frequencies kind of, it feels more like an HF radio uh, with the, the dial, the knob. So I really like that. And uh, you guys got to remember too, before this radio, the only thing I've ever had was a bow thing. So this is a huge step up for me. We will still be focusing on uh, budget content on this channel. So anyways, uh, this has been a super cool unboxing i'm really really excited to get this radio some use and i'm really excited to pump out some content dedicated to this radio showing how it works and different things that you can do with it because this thing has a lot of capability it's it does a lot of cool things uh, a lot of useful things in terms of emergency situation it does aprs it's got a very wide band receive um, it's also got yesu uh, fusion and i actually have a yesu fusion uh, repeater uh, near me that I'll be able to utilize. It also uh, will connect to your computer and you can use that as uh, the portable digital mode 
for Yaesu Fusion. So this thing's got a ton of different future features and I am super excited to do some videos on this and uh, just use it. Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching uh, and I'm too excited. I need to get my hands on this radio and start playing with it. So unfortunately, I'm going to cut this one off. If you guys liked the video, make sure you subscribe, uh, make sure you comment. And I hate to ask another, but those bell notifications are super important if you want to see my videos uh, pop up in your, your newsfeed. Thank you so much for watching. Also, stay safe out there.